What's up guys? Important announcement time. I regret not sharing this with you guys earlier, but some time ago I was approached by a major company to take on a significant role. The good news is that there is no conflict of interest between my new responsibilities and this channel, so I will be continuing to create content right here on Bitwit for the foreseeable future. I understand you must be curious about whose payroll I'm on now. Well, it might come as a shock to some of you that the company I've been contracted by is none other than Santa's Workshop. That's right, they've entrusted me with the important task of crafting Christmas presents this year. You see, traditionally, Santa's Workshop has relied on its elven team in China for Christmas present manufacturing. However, ties with their overseas partners were severed earlier this year after Santa filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The filing stems from a declining economy and a string of poor financial investments from Kris Kringle himself, which includes liquidating half of Santa's workshop assets into crypto exchange FTX and a $15 million portfolio primarily containing NFTs of dogs in bikinis. Now facing difficult times, the North Pole-based company has sought assistance during the holiday rush from content creators like myself. In light of this, Today's project involves building a gaming PC in the new Height Y70 Touch, which will be gifted to one lucky viewer on Santa's nice list. And in case you're wondering why I'm currently defecating into a cardboard box, it's because I've also been enlisted to create presents for those on Santa's naughty list. I've been told there's a coal shortage. Before we continue, this video is brought to you in part by cdkeyoffer.com. So I have three desktop PCs that I regularly bounce between, and all of them are running activated copies of Windows from keys that I got on cdkeyoffer.com. I've used many key sites in the past, but cdkeyoffer is the only one I've never had an issue with. I've never had a bad key, I've never had to call customer service, I've never had to email customer support, and I've never had to activate Windows over a phone, which is super fun. Right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for around 22 bucks, but wait, add it to your cart. Use the 25% discount code BW20 at checkout, and the price drops to just $16.93. Buy Grabthar's hammer, what a savings. To use your new key, just go to your purchased orders from the drop down menu to view and copy the key once you get there, and then paste that key into the Windows activation page. Voila! You've got an activated OS that's also eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11. Alternatively, you can skip the upgrade and buy Windows 11 Pro directly using the same code BW20 to snag the OS for around 23 bucks. Activate the key using the aforementioned steps and get the full Windows experience easily and affordably. Thanks again to cvkeyoffer.com. Now back to the main video. All right, a new PC is on the way with an AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, one of the fastest, if not the fastest gaming chip on the market still. Yeah, baby, going strong, eight cores, 16 threadies, max boost up to five, five gigahertz, five gigahertz, right? And then we've got this beautiful Asus ROG Strix B650A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. This is very funny, actually. I'm gonna pull out my secondary camera. So there's some text on the VRM heatsink here. It says, for those who dare. But I read it the other way because I'm usually used to reading clockwise, not counterclockwise. So I read it as, those four dare who? Which I, th I just, it just made me laugh. I think it's very funny. Start, join the Republic, game on. Oh, it's telling me to do things. What is it supposed to be like a start menu, like from a video game? I don't understand what's going on here. But beautiful board, 12 plus two phase power design. We've got DDR5 support for the memory. PCA Gen 5 for the M.2 slot up here. Gen 4 for the by 16 slot. Oh, and also this quick release button. This quick release. So you want to get that big honking GPU out quickly and you don't want to have to stick a knife in there. Actually, don't do that. CPU installation though. We should, we should install this guy. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Ooh. We lift the schwan and then the schwan. Get out of here. Easy does it now. Mind the pins. Ooh, looks good. That's looking fresh. Okie dokie. Memories. We've got uh, 16 gigs per stick. So we got 32 gigs of Dominator Titanium DDR5 6000 speed from the Corsair peoples. Beautiful, beautiful. This is my first time using these sticks and they are nice. Ooh, that's some good peel right now. That's some good, that's a good peel, boy. Damn, these are some chonky sticks, just height-wise. They are skinny, but uh, the heat spreaders are tall, baby. Gosh dang, that looks good. Ho, ho, ho. Our cooler is the NZXT Kraken 360 RGB. A very, very nice cooler. It's got that LCD on the front, baby. Mm, the possibilities. Obviously, I'm gonna deck this system out to look Christmassy AF. Check the manual real quick. Ah, yes, the morning news. Let's see here. Ah, the world's still on fire. Perfect. AM5, where you at? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> Put this bad boy on. Ooh, which way do we want to go? Which way do we want to go here? We're doing, uh, we're going this. Oh, I just smudged the freaking thermal page. Just a, sm a little, little, little bit, a teeny tiny. <laughs> Let's see here. We can go this way. Hold on, let me, let me, uh, let me position this in the case. Let me see what, what works best. Give me a sec. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa. Ooh, is this gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> why you, why you doing that? Why you, why you stop it? Okay, it has been. Decided, ladies and gentlemen. We're going with tubes on the left. And now, with Bitwit's hit single, Tubes on the Left. I'm putting tubes on the left. We ain't going right. We're doing tubes on the left just fine. Here we go. Why is this a Christmas song? Because it's Christmas time, duh. Here we go. Home. Meow, 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 meow. The final countdown. Ah! Bruh, I just stabbed that LCD with my screwdriver. Thank goodness, that's another reason to keep the peel on. Mm-hmm, till the very last minute, because you're a dumbass cow. Moving on, uh, LSSD. We have a Sabrent, Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0. This is a one terabyte SSD, I'm not here. One of these days I'm gonna get a Gen 5 drive in here just for, you know, just to take full advantage of these Gen 5 slots, you know? Then again, whoever wins this thing is probably gonna play Minecraft on it, so it doesn't matter. Wah, 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 wah. Let me get that toolless action right there. I did remember to remove the plastic peel on the thermal pad before installation, so I get a cookie. Oh, that's the way to mount it. That's how you mount it, baby. Oh, look, they wrote it here too. For those who dare. It's written all over this thing. For those who dare. It's so funny how like, how serious these like hardware manufacturers Manufacturers try to make things. It's like what for, for those who dare to what play Fortnite and tip hot tub streamers. Come on. But okay, we are done with uh, motherboard prep. I'm just going to install some fans on our radiator. We are not going to be using the same fans that it comes with, even though those are great fans. We're going to get a bit more matchy matchy and a bit more high end with these guys. Boom boom. SL 120s from Lee and Lee. I also like the daisy chain ability a lot. Cleans up cable management. But I'm going to go ahead and mount these. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to exhaust this. We're going to exhaust this, right? This is exhaust, so bada bing, bada boom. Am I facing the right way in terms of the way I want to face it? Like this way or that way? Gee, looking pretty good there. Yo-ho, we are ready for the case. That was fast. Let's do it. <laughs> this big honk honk it's the height Y70 Touch. The noble successor to the height Y60, a super popular case for good reason. It was an outstanding chassis, and this one builds upon that with some pretty cool new nifty features. Obviously, the Y60 60 did have that optional LCD screen that you could mount right here for an additional cost. Well, now it's included with the Y70 Touch, but this is a different case. They didn't just reuse the same frame, the same chassis. It is larger. It's taller, and I know it's wider for sure. It's still a mid-tower, though. I wouldn't say it's gargantuan by any stretch. It's just a, a little thicker. We got a thick boy now. So we got the pre-installed standoffs. Yes, that middle standoff doing its thing. And then we've got, of course, the color-matched, the color-matching uh, PCIe 4.0. Doo -doo -doo -doo, riser cable. Oh, I took off the wrong PCA slot. So these expansion slots are actually half height, as you can see, and vertical GPU mounting is the only option in this particular chassis, just much like the, uh, the Y60. Pop this in, see how this goes. Aha, but I'll give you guys a full demo and we'll talk more about the LCD and everything that it can do after the build is up and running because it just makes more sense that way. All right, we've got this AO here. We're gonna go ahead and slide her in easy. As you can see, we've got room for a 360 radiator at the top of the case, as well as for dual 140, so you could do up to a 280 as well. We also have the side, the side fan mounts. As you can see, we've got flexible mounting strips there. So again, you could do up to a 360 or a 280 rad which is pretty bad. You can slap a 120 or a 140 fan at the back of the case right here. And at the bottom, finally, underneath this kind of ventilated uh, floor of the case, you can mount up to 360 millimeters worth of fans. So three 120s, or you can once again do uh, two 140s. It is very spacious. It's a very nice, big, wide case. I could live in here. If this was an LA apartment, it'd be like five grand a month. Ew, new, 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 new. You know what? I'm dumb. I just realized that mounting the AIO this way is probably not the best idea because the fan, the rear fan, meh, meh, that looks nasty, bro. I forgot we need clearance for this rear fan. I'm gonna swap it. It's okay, I only have to undo and redo 12 screws. Oh, does this mean I'm gonna have to redo the water block as well? Shoot. We might have to switch those tubes around to the other side. It totally negates that Christmas jingle I made up earlier. Let's see here, boys. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to flip that. I'm gonna have to flip that proper. The tubes are too short. The tubes are too, oh, that looks terrible. Oh, the strain, the strainage. Oh, God, make it stop. This kind of fun though, because now I get to apply my own thermal paste. Uh, 
Okay, get this guy off of there. All right, at least at least we can, uh, you know, for what it's worth, we can verify that we are making direct contact with that copper plate and IHS as it is fully smudged. That's what we'd like to see. But, uh, I'm gonna give him a little TP action right here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Rub one out, baby. Yeah, baby. All right, and here we go again. Attempt number two. Boom. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea for motherboard manufacturers of the world. Hear me out, listen to me, I'm smart, I'm a genius. Find a way to make the top VRM heatsink latch open. So like, like make a little pass through in between it. You can like open it, pass any fat cables, your SATA cables, whatever, pump cables, and the pump block through that. So you, just, so you don't have to go around. So you don't have to go around and make a little fat little detour. It looks nasty. If you can make that happen, ooh, chef's kiss, baby. Chef's kiss, you're gonna have that idea for free. Sick and tired of all these cables cluttering up my bill. We need to secure the bar. Come on, little screws. Let's go. You know what? I should probably mount the motherboard first. I'm going to mount the motherboard because I forgot to do that earlier. We are just all over the place. I know some of you were commenting on the last build of the month, and you're like, I think Kyle's on uppers. He's like on some kind of stimulant. I was like, guys, guys, obviously that's true. <gasps> Oh shoot, you know what? Our, our last screw hole in the motherboard is actually being blocked by this display port pass-through that is wired directly to the LCD panel. And that's just so that you can take a little short uh, display port cable. I think they've included one in the case. Yes, yes they have. Short little mini display port cable that you route from your GPU out into the display port uh, pass-through so that way it connects to the LCD. Yeah, we go. Back in business, yeehaw! Now where was I with this AIO, this honking unit? That looks better, looks a little strange, but I guess it kind of works. Yeah, you know what, I dig it. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I should probably connect the cables, at least one of the cables on this side, because it's very tight there. So the Lian Lee fan cable. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. I must connect this daisy chain cable. I cannot reach it, fuck my life. I must uninstall the radiator again. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. Let's do this again. All right. Easy does it. There you go. Okay, so it's not a daisy chain cable. This one, this cable will go directly to our controller. Absolute beautiful. Very shit. Son of a bitch. Are you magnetic by chance? Yes, you are. Bless you. All right, give me a second while I do this for the third time today. <laughs> Fan number four, let's go. Fan number four, meow, meow, meow. Oh, gonna take this plastic peel off. Ha <laughs> ha. I like how flexible the back of this case is for, for fan mounting. It's just a bunch of slats. There's no actual fan hole, so you can literally put it anywhere on this surface. You can put it away up here. We're just gonna do it right smack in the middle as best as we can. Oakley dokely. So a bit of a situation here. I was actually unable to get the reverse blade version of these fans in time for this video. So now we are forced to choose between nice aesthetics and better airflow. This is obviously intake, so it's gonna be more direct air. Just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go with cosmetics. I'm gonna favor cosmetics, and then maybe we'll reach out. We'll reach out. I'll reach out to Lee and Lee and see if they're willing to hook up whoever wins this thing with some reverse blade versions of these fans, and I'll just install them before I ship it out. How's that sound? Okay, good. Cable, 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 cable. Cable, 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 cable. All right, I'm gonna wire up these front panel connectors, and then we'll carry on. All right, my dudes, we are ready for the power. Power, bring it on, bring it on to power. NZXT C12. So we know, you know, you know we're not dealing with no no slouch of a GPU for putting 1200 watts of power into this bad bar. As you can see, cable management is incomplete. I have not even started it. I just plugged some stuff in, all the front panel stuff like I mentioned. Looks like we are gonna need SATA. One for the case, one for the AIO, and one for... What's the other one for? Oh, the fan controller, of course. Fortunately, we only have to wire up one SATA cable for that because we've got three or four connectors on there. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. I'm gonna save all this wiring for the very end after we install the GPU. I was gonna say GPU, but I totally forgot a very important step, which is to install the intake fans at the bottom of the case. Silly Kyle. So we're gonna do that right now. We've got this little bracket, this removal bracket. For starters, I should show you, I did have to remove a dust filter here. So there is a removable dust filter right there. Just snaps in, in and out of place. Okay, just show you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the, uh, the top dust filter is actually built into the top panel so dust removal is very easy in this case I'm gonna pop this out and we're just gonna install these three XF120 fans from Asus RG Strix oh nice actually these are very nice fans PWM yeah we're gonna mount these to the bracket like I so
Now we can move on to the GPU, which is the Asus ROG Strix RTX 4080 OC Edition, baby. Is it the OC model? Hold on, what is it? It's the OC model, baby. 16 gigs of VRAM. Holy moly, the things are based. It's an absolute beast. And of course, it's in white to match our Christmassy theme. I do not know if there's a sexier graphics card on the market right now. Feel free to disagree. It's okay to be wrong. But my goodness, this thing is absolutely freaking Beautiful. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh, you getting you feisty. Oh, you a little feisty one with them little stringies. Come on, baby. Don't be shy. Ah. Goodness gracious. Asus, could you have made peeling the plastic off this thing any more difficult? Did I get everything? No. There's still more. Whee. Ah. Come on, dude. Come on. Just still more. Yeah. Oh my. Really? That should have come off in one piece. Jeez Louise. Are we done yet? We're done yet. Oh, the big mama. We save it for last. Oh. All right, baby. Final stretch. As you can see, I've already got the uh, the, the cables wired up. The, uh, the Asia Horse extensions are installed. Although I did not buy the 12 volt high power kit. I, I got the regular one, so that's that's not great. I could use the adapter, but why do that when I, we already have a uh, we already have that native cable coming from the power supply. It's gonna be the same thing, just less cable -y. So that's what we're gonna do. Plus, I just, I, I don't think with the vertical GPU mounting, we're really going to see much of that cable. You might see the just the, the, the tippity top, and then the rest of it goes behind the GPU. So not a huge deal, actually. Kind of works out. Let's just see for a second here. Come on, don't be like that. Don't be all messy. Oh, look, you can barely tell. Barely tell, it's itty bitty, itty bitty black. Itty bitty bitty. Uh, my OCD's a little bit, a little bit peeved, but not too bad, not too bad. Oh, are we done? Are we done? Hold on. Cable management. Let me just... Okay. Okie dokie, kids. Looking pretty good back here. Lots of space. Lots of room for all the cables you could possibly imagine. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. RGB fans. We've got controllers. And it's all fitting just fine. We have tons. Of, look at how much extra room we have. I actually stuffed a lot of the cables in this hard drive cage. I don't know if it's really a cage. It's semi-open, but you can fit two, three and a half inch, or I think four, no, two, three and a half inch, or four, two and a half inch drives. And they slide out from the back, of course. I don't know how much tying down we really need to do here. I mean, at this point, it's just for aesthetics. There's really no issue whatsoever. Like the, the side panel will go on, no questions asked. I think I'm gonna leave it right here. I could tie down things a bit more to make it look a little nicer, a little tidier, but overall, I do like to keep the cable management on the looser side for giveaway PCs, just for the winners, in case they wanna get back here at some point, upgrade things down the line. They don't have to undo a bunch of cabling and, uh, and zip ties and that sort of thing. So on that note, the build is, the build's done, right? The build's done. Just gotta slap on some side panels and montage go! La, 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 la. The build is done. It looks so fun. Ho, ho. First thing I want to mention is that you probably noticed that the AIO LCD is off, and that's because we don't actually have enough USB 2.0 headers on our board for everything that we have connected here. We need actually three, one for the, the, the AIO, one for the fan controller, and then another for the screen. We only have two on board, so I actually bought a splitter. It's on its way right now. I'll install that so that the uh, the giveaway winner does, doesn't have to worry about that. Looking at this beautiful screen, this is a crazy display. I feel like it's almost overkill, but for the price, it's just, it just the, the price is justified because of how beautifully glorious this display is. It's a 4K screen. It's 1100 by 3840. So pixel density is really nice. It's a 14.1 inch IPS display. I mean, if this thing was a little bit bigger and the aspect ratio wasn't so wonky, like you could game on it, honestly. Within Heights, Nexus software is how you configure and customize everything that you see here, including widgets. You can add a ton of widgets. I've got, you know, the clock and the GIF animation thing. I've got weather and performance. You can even have a Twitch chat, someone's Twitch chat. I have shrouds. Twitch chat in right here. This is real time. He's streaming right now. You can kind of just like look through that at a glance. There's an emoji clipboard. Um, you've got more performance numbers here. You can con configure this between, you know, CPU or GPU utilization, temperatures, uh, memory. There's even a dock at the bottom with 
various apps that you can choose from. Uh, you can customize these as well, File Explorer, Task Manager, Block Game, which basically just lets you play Tetris on this thing. It's pretty sweet. I will say that there aren't a whole lot of video wallpapers to choose from within the Height software currently. Maybe that's something that we'll add, add to in the future, but this does work perfectly well as just a secondary display also. If you didn't want to use the Height software, you could just use your regular Windows background or Wallpaper Engine. Wallpaper Engine works wonderfully with this display, and that's how I kind of got the, the Christmassy theme going there. But overall, this display is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very novel feature that really sets this, this case apart from most on the market. Uh, obviously, you pay a bit of a price for it, but damn, it, it does look really nice. As for performance, it is good. We're playing Doom Eternal at 4K max settings, getting anywhere between 300 and 400 FPS. Obviously, it swings wildly depending on the scene, but uh, super high frame rates, buttery smooth gameplay. I mean, when you're talking about a, a high-end gaming CPU, actually the fastest gaming CPU on the market right now, plus an RTX 4080, you literally can throw anything at the system and it will chew it up like Laffy Taffy. It's bananas. Uh, temperatures are actually really surprisingly good. Granted, it is like 69 degrees Fahrenheit in here right now, which is what, like 22, 23 C. So it is pretty chilly in here. But that being said, despite the, uh, the, the wonky fan configuration we have with those side fans as exhaust, where, you know, ideally we'd want them to be intake, uh, we're still getting really good temperatures. 59C on the GPU right now, which is at 100% load, and 63, 64C thereabouts on the CPU. All around, very good airflow, it appears, in the Y70 Touch. And all of this can be yours. Just enter the giveaway using the link in the video description down below. I wish you guys all the best. Not just good luck for the giveaway, but for the holiday season. Whether you celebrate something in December or not, I hope you get this, this month as an opportunity to just spend some extra time with friends and family or some extra quality time for yourself. I do wish you guys all the best coming into the new year. It's, uh, it's been a hell of a year. 2023 was very interesting, but very fun. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's stuck by my side through thick and thin this last year and, and long before that, whether you've been here a day or, or the entire time. Um, I, uh, I just really appreciate all of you guys. Feeling super grateful for y'all. So thank you very much. We got one more video, I think, before the year's out and that'll be a fun one, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. As always, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.